YouTube Niner Empire, what is going down? Welcome back to another video. Um, not great news today um, coming out of San Francisco with the 49ers because Brock Purdy is in concussion protocol, um, which honestly shocked me. I'm sure it shocked a lot of you guys out there as well. Brock Purdy didn't seem – it didn't seem like Brock Purdy was hurt in any way, shape, or form um, – during the Minnesota game Monday night or after the Minnesota game Monday night. But on the plane ride back home following the loss to Minnesota, Brock Purdy was having concussion-like symptoms and was obviously placed in concussion protocol. That's what Kyle Shanahan told reporters is that on the plane ride back home, Brock Purdy was in concussion protocol or was placed in concussion protocol. So... I started reading a little more on on potentially what happened during the game. Obviously, you got to think he took some type of hit during the Minnesota game that kind of put him in concussion protocol. Um, but I really wanted to know what play it was. And there's a video surfacing on Twitter of the quarterback sneak. I believe it was on third and one or maybe fourth and one. Uh, I Probably was fourth and one if I can remember right. But there was a play where the 49ers ran a quarterback sneak and... Um, Brock Purdy was hit in the head by Vikings linebacker Jordan Hicks. Um, <clears throat> now, there was no penalty called. It was kind of really hard to see where Brock Purdy was. You guys know how quarterback sneaks are. It's really hard to see where the quarterback is. You can kind of get a glimpse of if he's getting past the line of scrimmage or whatnot or across that first down marker. But it's in general, it's hard to you know see where the quarterback is, um, you know, in in a quarterback sneak play. And Brock Purdy was pretty much sandwiched between two offensive linemen. Um, it looked like Aaron Banks, Jake Brindle, Colton McKivitz, McCaffrey was behind him. Um, and Jordan Hicks comes right over the middle, hits Brock Purdy right in his head. And people are saying that is when the concussion happened, uh, which is – it. I mean, it looks likely he got hit in the head pretty hard on that play. Um, but obviously, he seemed fine. He played the rest of the game. Now, something else that's kind of interesting um, is after that play. So, let's let's start with before the concussion play happened. Before the concussion play, Brock Purdy was 19 for 24, 252 passing yards, one touchdown, to no interceptions, and he had a 124.3 quarterback rating or passer rating. After that play where he was hit in the head, he went two for six, 20 pass yards, zero touchdowns to two interceptions, and had a 4.2 passer rating. So clearly that concussion did something, um, or it, it obviously you know had some type of effect on Brock Purdy throughout the rest of the game. Um, but it was weird to me that he didn't show any symptoms, or maybe he did have symptoms. He, he probably felt he was good to go, and he didn't want to come out of the game. Brock Purdy's tough as nails, so it wouldn't surprise me if he did something like that. Um, but here's the thing. So Brock Purdy is going to under, undergo concussion protocol. If he can pass the concussion protocol, he will be available to play Sunday versus the Cincinnati Bengals. The bad news in this whole situation is is that it's probably unlikely that he doesn't pass concussion protocol. Um, there has been one quarterback in in a very long time. I seen Rappaport, I believe, tweeted it out, or maybe it was Adam Schefter, but he basically mentioned that it's been a long time since a quarterback has been able to play the same week they were, you know, pushed to pushed into concussion protocol, and that was Kenneth Walker um, in 2020, I believe. Or not Kenneth Walker, Kenny Pickett, I believe it was. Um, but Kenny Pickett had a same concussion. It was either last week or... Um, or not last week. It was either last year or the year before. I'll read you guys the tweet. So it says, The last player to be in concussion protocol who played the same week was in 2022 when Kenny Pickett had a concussion in week six and was cleared to play in week seven. Now, like I said, I mean, if Brock Purdy can pass the concussion protocol, he's obviously going to suit up for the Bengals on Sunday. But 
the way the NFL works with concussions and, and things of that nature, it's probably at this point highly unlikely he doesn't play in versus Cincinnati. Um, just knowing how the NFL is with concussions now and, and head injuries. Um, some people think he could pass the concussion protocol. That's really up in the air. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is the 49ers are playing a red-hot Cincinnati Bengals team coming off of a bye week. The 49ers are coming off two rough weeks where the defense has played bad. The The offense has, you know, been mediocre at best. Um, you could argue that the offense has been bad as well. The team has played bad. The team has been bad the past two weeks. If we don't have Brock Purdy Sunday, that's going to be an issue. Um, I, I think, you know, the 49ers could still somehow pull that win out. Obviously, Sam Darnold's going to be starting if Brock Purdy is out. Sam Darnold's a seasoned veteran starter. I think Sam Darnold could do good things, but obviously I think all 49ers fans can agree we're more comfortable with Brock Purdy be under center. Um, and, you know, it's one of them things where it's like, what are you going to do about a concussion? Like I said, the way the NFL works with head injuries now, it's really hard to see Brock Purdy passing that concussion protocol. I'm sure there's probably a lot of things that they've changed in those testings or in those tests um, to, you know, actually label a player, you know, concussed. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be interesting to wa- watch out for, but it's not good that he has a concussion. Um, obviously, with the 49ers bye week, we would have everybody back and healthy, including Brock Purdy, if he is out Sunday. We'd have everybody back and healthy following the bye week, as well as Debo Samuel. Um, so, you know, the 49ers are always injured every year. That's one thing about the 49ers that is like a guarantee every year. There's going to be injuries. I know as as far as today goes, Debo obviously didn't practice today. I, I mean, he's out. We know he's out Sunday. Trent Williams did not practice today. Trey Greenlaw didn't practice today. Um, Trent Williams, I would imagine, should play Sunday against the Bengals. Um, I would fully expect him to be playing. If not, there's a problem um, because the ankle injury he suffered did not seem that serious. Um, he finished the entire game with the Cleveland Browns. Like, he finished the entire Cleveland Browns game. He must have just kind of re-aggravated that in the process. That's probably why he didn't play this past Monday um, or it probably could have been like a pain tolerance type of issue. I expect Trent Williams to play Sunday without a doubt. Debo's not going to play and obviously now Brock Purdy's up in the air. So not great news coming off of two losses. Um, obviously, you know, with the bye week, it's going to help Brock Purdy play the following game after Cincinnati. But again, I mean, he has to pass concussion protocol first. I don't know if that's going to happen. I mean, the 49ers have a game in four days technically now. So it's going to be interesting to see how that situation plays out. But Hopefully Brock Purdy can can heal up soon. Hopefully he can pass concussion protocol. If not, it's Sam Darnold Sunday against the Bengals at home. And um, like I said, Sam Darnold's a seasoned veteran. I feel much more comfortable with Brock Purdy under center. But we can see, I mean, the 49ers, that's still a game they should win with Sam Darnold. You know, there's playmakers all over. Um, we get how talented the 49ers roster is. It's next man up if Brock Purdy's out, and I would expect – the 49ers to go in there and put up a good fight against the Bengals and hopefully come out with the win. Um, just because Brock Purdy is, you know, is out or potentially is going to be out Sunday doesn't mean that the 49ers can't win the game. So, um, yeah, Brock Purdy in concussion protocol. He obviously is going to undergo the protocol to see if he can play Sunday. If not, it's Sam Darnold, quarterback one Sunday versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, but I'll... T- Continue to keep you guys updated on the situation. Um, it's not official that Brock Purdy is out. Is it unlikely that he plays? Probably. It's probably more unlikely than it is likely that he does play. Um, but again, I'll keep you guys updated. As always, go Niners. And um, yeah, get well soon, Purdy.